at you, venturing out into the darkness, doggedly fighting your way through just to come and see me. You're the only person I can think of who could actually pull that off. Still, what's with you joining forces with them? Didn't expect that. You're just trying to stall for time with small talk again. Huh. I guess maybe you're not so clued up after all. Uh, look, I understand that seeing me has gotten you a little agitated, but frankly, the fact that you're still so fired up and raring to go after the long journey here is a bit of a problem for me. So, let's burn off that excess energy with a little exercise, huh? Just to calm you down enough to hear me out. From the ashes! No, my sword! Coming so to art! Surrender! your fate. Take flight! Stop, stop! Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. That woman with the slender pupils, what, what does she call herself? Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? She calls herself Sumi. <laughs> that reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Bethysmal Bishops are a highly intelligent and fast-evolving kind. There have been legends about this for over a thousand years now. The Bishop people. Bishop people? Huh. Sounds like the kind of nickname Paimon comes up with all the time. Well, this one comes from an old Enconomian legend. When the Bethysmal bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. Eventually, this gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans except for their pupils. These were the Bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that Reptile's pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. I formed an alliance with the bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue their captive kin. In return, they'd allow the Abyss Order safe passage through their territory and help me rebuild the Three Towers. But they didn't know that the darkness of the Abyss was a terrible poison to elemental beings. So they thought you had betrayed them? I mean, I totally did betray them. To be fair, it'd be pretty humiliating for the Abyss Order if we unleashed the power of the Abyss on them and they were just frolicking around with no side effects. You are pure evil! Well, here's where we are now. Once she's done with you, she'll use the power of the Dainichi Mikoshi to suppress the Sanga Coralia and create darkness to protect the bishops. They are probably diving down into the depths to rescue their imprisoned companions as we speak. 
It won't be long before the source of Blood Branch Coral is completely cut off. Uh, poor Bethismal fishships. But still. If you still want to save Watatsumi Island, you're gonna have to hurry. You can use the mechanism I left behind to guide the light and dispel the darkness in the Dainichi Mikoshi. We don't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth! Oh, come on, guys. Do you honestly have another choice? This is just another fruitless trip to Enkonomiya for me at this point, but no biggie. I'm just a marginal figure in the order. Unlike those who are falling over themselves to serve our highness, I'm interested in more inconsequential things. Ooh, yikes. I think I'm all out of time here. I'd better go. I would say, see ya, but I probably won't. Here, I've got a parting gift for you. It's something I picked up at the Dainichi Mikoshi. like part of the same set as the one that Kokomi gave us. Uh, wait, now's not the time for that. Oh, Paimon's so angry, he got away again. Can't trust that guy. Even if he sounds like he's making sense. So, let's go back to Tsumi and ask her about all this. <laughs>